Welcome to the video. In this video we're very quickly going to go through the process to update an 8XR's firmware. Now this is one that has just arrived. This is a 2015 version. The reason it's got that 2015 sticker on it is I'm in the European Union and at the beginning of 2015 there were some changes to the firmware that went on to the 8XR which means this unit will now not bound to my radio. Now I could fix it by updating my radio to the EU firmware and we're not talking about the OpenTX or those kinds Kind of firmwares that's running on it there's a separate lot of firmware to actually update the transmitter circuit tree and protocols that it's running but if i did that on my radio then i would lose the ability to talk d16 protocol to a lot of my other receivers as well and to be frank i haven't got a day and a half to kind of spend updating all my other receivers so for speed what i'm going to do is change the x8r that i have here in my pause to be using the pre or non-EU version of the firmware. That way it will then bind to my radio and I'll be able to use it with the D16 protocol and get on my telemetry stuff. Now I could have used it with, I think it still works with D8, but then I need the telemetry. I want to be able to monitor the battery voltages on the craft and that's the reason that I bought this thing in the first place. So in this video, we're going to downgrade this to non-EU firmware. A couple of things we need to do this. First is the FRUSB-3 cable. Uh, we've used this on the channel before. It has a USB connector at one end and then a couple, so with a couple of cables. We actually use this cable to change a D4R2 to use the 27 millisecond firmware. And then we also need another cable, which is this one here, which is a FR Sky smart port converter cable. It takes um, the signals from that first cable and turns it into a smart port signal that we can go into here. Uh, this is one that actually came from an outfit called unmantechshop.co.uk. So thank you very much to those guys for supplying this. They were one of the few people in the UK that actually carried it. Now to put it together before we go onto the PC, it's pretty straightforward. We plug the one cable into the other, watching polarity, black to black, red to red, and then the end of it goes into the smart port connector on the X8R. And there we are, we're ready to plug it into the PC. So let's go onto the PC and talk about the software you need and where you get the manual and the firmware so you can change what's on the X8R. So here on the computer, the first thing we'll do is we'll just find the manual that we were talking about. So everything that we're going through here is available as a document. So if you just Google for FR Sky Smart Port Update, the top one here, this PDF, is how to upgrade the FR Sky Smart Port enabled products. So let's just open it and have a look. And this is the process we are going to follow. It actually talks through exactly how you update all the different pieces. And it talks about the two cables that we've just had a look at. Then it talks about downloading the driver for Windows 7 Vista and also for upgrading um, the ROM and then talks about the process that we're just gonna go through. So let's ignore that for the moment. Let me show you the things we need to download. Don't worry about the links at the top. I'll put those in the description. First thing we need to download is this. This is the firmware for the 8XR and it also is the non-Europe version, which is the one I need to work with my radio right now. The second thing we're going to need, obviously we're just gonna click download for that and that will then download it and put it somewhere safe. Next thing we need then is to download the um, upgrade S-Port telemetry stuff. Again, don't worry about the link, we'll put that in the description. It's actually going to download a zip file, so we need to download that one as well. And then the last one you need to potentially need to download is actually the driver for the cable, the USB cable, when you plug it into the PC. I didn't need to use this one because I've used this cable before, so the driver's already on the PC but I'd recommend if you've never used the cable before, download and install this too. So once you've downloaded all of that great stuff, and I put it onto the desktop. So what I'd do uh, is plug in your USB cable about now. Uh, don't have it connected to the smart port onto the X8R receiver. Just have the USB cable plugged in and have the other end ready to go. What we're going to do is jump into the XR firmware stuff. So here's all the things we've downloaded. 
first one here, that is the actual firmware file itself. And here is the expanded contents of the zip file that has all the upgrade adapter bits and pieces in here. So we'll go in here and we'll run the FRSky update smart port. So we want to run it. Okay, now it's because we have the USB cable plugged in, it's I picked it up and identified it. COM22 is the one we're after. We need to tell it the file that we actually want to load onto the adapter. So we're going to click on file. We're going to navigate to that firmware file and click open. Okay. And now it's waiting for me to plug the device in. This is the point where I plug in the device. And once I plug in the smart port into the X8R, then everything will start to happen. And it probably takes about two, two and a half minutes to upload all of the firmware onto the receiver. And while it's doing that, you'll notice that the green and red lights will be flashing. Once it's finished, then you come back and you press end, you unplug everything, and then you should find that your receiver is now running the non-EU version of the firmware. You can then go and connect it and bind it using D16 to your non-EU radio, and you'll be good to go. So hopefully that helps those of you that are looking to change the firmware or upgrade or change the firmware because of a bug or some other problem. You now know how to do it. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.